years. And for battery, Samsung is quoting a further 15% increased battery life over the already very good S23 Ultra. But it all needs testing, and I will be doing exactly that with my review of this phone. So a sub to the channel would be almighty. However, there is one more important aspect to this new chip. Now that companies are about to start properly dialing up the involvement of AI in your phone, all of a sudden, all that chat about the AI cores in your phone's chipset, and the fact that they're two times faster here than last year's, you know, the part of the presentation where you start to doze off a little bit, all of that matters in a much more real way now. This chip is powerful enough to run entire large language models completely on device without internet. But more on that when I get to the Galaxy AI part. Because before that, we got talk cameras. There's some cool stuff going on here. Like the main 200 megapixel camera has been refreshed. By refreshed, I mean it's a new camera sensor, but it's got like basically the exact same spec as last year. Not insignificant though, because it has a faster technique for capturing photos, which combined with a little sprinkle of software magic has quite significantly brought the time to capture down from 333 milliseconds to 238. And the most recent software now lets you select an option to shoot even faster, but it's at the cost of quality, so I don't really know who that's for. Both the front and rear cameras now have better noise reduction algorithms, which I'm very curious to test properly because noisy videos have been my single biggest gripe with past Samsung cameras. So if they can fix that, they're gonna shoot up the rankings. But what's pretty clear already is the improvements to photos. In my very early testing, you can see some decent improvements to color reproduction, and most importantly, the smoothness and clarity of the shot. And that is apparently down to what Samsung calls the Pro Visual Engine. Now I asked about five separate times and I could not get a clear answer on exactly what this Pro Visual Engine is, but it seems like it's a blanket marketing term that Samsung's using for what's actually lots of different camera optimizations they've made here. 